Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get a nice loop-to-loop, -loop, not free connection from your backing to your fly line. As you can see, there are no knots here. There is a really big loop, which makes me able to change my fly line easily by just taking the thread, the loop, around. And that's it. And when I want to put on another fly line, I'm just going to thread the big loop through the small loop, fly line, no, fly reel through the big loop, and that's it. So, to make the loop that goes from your reel to the fly line, I'm just going to cut the old one off. You of course need some sort of hollow backing. This is teeny 30 pound. So we need to look big enough so the reel can go through it. Like that. And all we have to do now is Put the threading thingy, what you call it, through the backing. You can use any kind of backing you like. I prefer teeny, especially the 30 pound because it's really, really nice. You need about, I don't know, maybe four centimeters. A bit more. Four or five centimeters, I mean, it's not, it's better to have too, too much than too little. So when I have the, the desired length, which is about that much. I'm going to take the other end and pull it through. the big loop I'm just going to adjust adjust the loop a bit more like that and I'm going to cut off the excess That. And now it's <sighs> as you can see it, it's not going anywhere just in case you never know you're just gonna put a tiny little drop of super glue there Okay, that's the easy part. Now for the difficult part. Again, I'm using the teeny 30 pound backing. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the with the reel. 
more with the backing on the reel. that uh, it's going to be big I think I hope <laughs> just big enough you don't need a, you don't need a big Loop on this side. See, nice tiny little loop, drop of super glue on the end. Just clean up a little bit. Now, the best thing about the 30 pound teeny backing is that you can take the backing. By the way, this is the new loop EvoTech fly line. This is the short head 805, which stands for 8.5 meters. I'm gonna test it tomorrow for some nice big fat trout. Okay. Back to the good thing about the teeny backing is that you can take the backing and stick it over your flat okay. so now we need to thread this over the fly line it can be a bit tricky the first time Especially with the thinner fly lines, I don't know why. I mean, seven weight, eight weight, nine, ten weight. They're really easy to do this with. Just take it nice and easy. This is a four weight line, as you probably can see. So you don't need more than 
maybe about I don't know three centimeters of backing over the fly line like that and now comes the fun part I have to cover cover the end here with thread and glue so the best way of doing this is spinning the bobbin around I'm just going to start it up and I'm going to do it off camera because it's much 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 easier for me plus there's no chance of bobbing flying up and cracking my lens so you can just entertain yourself while I'm doing, while I'm doing this so I'm gonna cover oh maybe you, ah look at that we can do it on camera now as you can see I've covered a bit of it so I'm gonna take and cut off the excess here without cutting off the fly line that would just be bad that it's always nice to have everything nice and tidy as you can see I have covered the backing end with some thread and some super glue you can use aquasure it's softer both work and all you have to do now is to attach your fly line to the backing as I do in the start of this video and give it a go it's really easy it's nice and smooth which is very important for me no knots no bumps lumps anything <laughs> 